Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Rook Tag with FFI, the Jumping Turtles, and the Fast Cutter Brick Faithful. We need better reactors. How do we get better reactors? We find people that have them. How do we find them? Good question. Um, we should fight in higher missions because then the chances are higher that we get better engines. The machines we fight at the moment will most likely not have what we need. But, well, what can we do? Okay, well, everyone, you're a heavy carrier pilot at the moment. We keep it that way. And cataphracts. And it's more than 40 tons. Are you kidding me? Okay, then you stay at home. You're not real. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that was the problem, but it was not. Okay, perfect. Let's go. And here we go. Let's see. It's a Black Ops mission, so do we have help? I think we do. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, we have to be a little bit careful with our um, Mr. Vroom Room because he's not that well armored. On the other hand, if we keep him back, he will not be able to keep pace with the rest of the army. So... We better keep him with us. We've got the Scorpion, which is damaged. A Prowler, which is not that good. A Striker with just an LM-15. And another Prowler. Well, at least maybe they can take up some shots or something. Remember, Blackout means turret fighting, mech fighting, mechs and turret fighting. And sometimes, if you're really, really lucky, only one fight. But rarely. If we fight turrets... We have to prioritize which turrets we take out first. We don't see any turrets though. Oh, here they are. Okay. There is one turret. It's a missile turret, light missile turret. There's normally four turrets. If you're faster than me, that's impossible. Well, apparently they are. Okay. We're fine. Move order received. On the move. On the move. Roger. Really bad is it if we get dropped. Sometimes they drop a ton of mechs on you. And sometimes they come from all angles. And then no matter what you do, you have one of them behind you. And that's pretty bad. Absolutely sure we're missing someone here. Question is whom? Whom do we miss? Got it. Move into position. Location confirmed. Okay. Our LRM carry is really behind. Okay, nothing. So we have to go to the second settlement, which is where? Ah, oh, don't tell me it's on the other side of the mountain. Uh, the problem is these guys cannot follow me there, obviously. Because uh, they cannot climb the mountain like I can with my jump jets. I could try to drive around, but that is unlikely to work. I can go up the slope. These guys are probably too dumb to do that. They will not be able to follow me. However, if we get high ground with the cataphracts, with all this LBX autocannon stuff and all, all the juiciness that that involves, that should be really powerful. On my way. And while we're moving, we're gaining um, resolve, hopefully. Tactics 5, I'm impressed. Remember, in the end, all these machines must be upgraded with uh, C3 systems. If possible, a warsuit MK2 would be good, because that includes basically everything you need. Not that the highest quality, point taken, but good enough for what we have in mind. Coordinates received. Position confirmed. 
So, at least our tank is not the slowest. Although he has problems, of course, climbing up there still, because it's too steep. And he is 80 tons heavy. Well, they're 70 tons heavy, but they, he doesn't have the engine they have. Maybe if we play our cards right, they will be able to follow us. Since they all have LRMs, they might even be of some help. Yeah, we could jump a little bit. Firing jump jet. This mobility is breathtaking. It's really good. It's amazing. And they look beautiful when they jump, by the way. Fire. Um, There is no reason not to take the long road. Because it doesn't help anything if the cataphracts arrive early and the rest arrives late, right? They will have problems following anyway. So, no more jumping. We're just... We're just running. Rough terrain. He's tracked, so he doesn't care that much about rough terrain. So we're okay. Oh, they've got turrets. Most likely we're gonna fight the turrets first. No, normally you fight the mechs first and then the turrets come online. And ruin your day. Confirmed. That's how it normally works. Aye, aye. Maybe we're lucky this time. Confirmed. I don't think that these guys will be of great help, but... Some of them have LRM-15s, LRM-10s, something like that. And maybe, who knows, uh, we're fighting the planetary government, so it's absolutely possible that the computer will pull out an alarm or something like that, or some super helicopter, um, VTOL, whatever, and then we would really need uh, all the help we can get. Excellent. This is the area we want to be. We'll send uh, him first. So he will be the one who will scout. He's the fastest. He's jumping like insane. Or is someone else the super jumper? Who knows? At least they're following nicely. Okay, he's not the super jumper. He is not the super jumper. She is the super jumper. You can run really fast. Fine by me. We just drove through a rock. No idea how we did this, but we just we just jumped through a rock. Of all things. Yeah, they're not capable of following me. They're too confused. Which is sad. I could really use those guys. Standing by. You will jump. We have no problem with stability because... Uh, we're resting automatically, so to speak. I wonder if our LRM carrier will arrive in time. He is, after all, the slowest. And they now are just stuck there. Can't be glad if one of them makes, them, makes it up. Mr. Vroom Vroom. Move forward. You move aside. Up high. Very nice. That has the bonus that we have a lot of defense, by the way. We have seven defensive bubbles. That's amazing. 
don't think we can jump that far, far because we have to jump down as well. So the distance you're jumping down is calculated against your distance of um, how far you're jumping. Yeah, they're stuck. They're too stupid to follow. Okay, we've got a turret here. Large laser is kind of a problem. Streak MMR10, that's terrifying. Streak SM6s, we can stay technically out of range of these. We're missing one turret. I do not know where the missing turret is. Receiving you. Mr. Happy. Jumping. I think we're just still outside. Move it! So it was still not enough. You cannot get up there. That's not the way up. They're confused. Computer is confused. Streak SRM 6s. Four of them. That's insane. Okay, you will just jump in here oh crap yeah that's bad they have a bandit uh, not so much of a problem not so much of a problem but the turrets will come on online in a second There is nothing we can do. Okay, let's just hope that we get some initiative. Because I don't want to get shot in the back by a million small lasers, but we will most likely be shot in the back by a million small lasers. The gun shoots at the scorpions? But since does that even make none? Um, cargo truck. I think we get a small bonus to hit. Nothing. But hey, you can't have everything. The problem comes when the um, turret gets online. Then we're in real trouble. That's when the real trouble starts. I mean, just look at this amazing amount of armor this thing has. That's just insane. And he hits. We have seven defense and he hits. What a bastard. If we're lucky, the turrets come on our side online, but that's unlikely because... We had a pretty easy stand already, so that's not very likely to happen. Good to go. Mr. Happy, I really need you to jump now like crazy and get into safety. Not really efficient, but it's what we have. Yeah, we didn't do anything. Technically speaking, we still have the LRM carrier. We could load everything up with um, mines here to stop them from doing too much stupid stuff. If the turrets come online, we must avoid this turret at all cost. Ish. Standing by. 
Okay, I really need you to help here. On my way. Okay, we shoot at the gun gunjo. He's not the toughest anyway, right? Armor's pretty weak. Maybe we can take him down in one salvo, wouldn't that be great? No, it was not. It was worth a try, though. Maybe we should have saved that for, you guessed it, the turrets, if they become hostile. Because if they get hostile, boy, are we in trouble. The MRM-10 is nothing to joke about. Ready for orders. Mr. Vroom. I trust in you. Uh, forty percent chance to hit. Forty percent chance to hit is pretty awesome. Confirmed. And I mean, it did hit us pretty badly. What is that thing doing? Ah, yeah, the turrets are working for us. That's good news. That means they're dead. Because yes, there is no way in hell these guys can survive against this turret. These turrets are really mean. Um, we could shoot him, even though he's pretty tough. He's pretty fast, so we take out him first. Yeah, he's dead. A real problem is that there is nothing to loot, because this is all garbage. So we have two picks for loot, but nothing to loot. Uh, you should be in a minefield, sir. Yeah, I would not have shot that guy. Honestly, that was a mistake. Biblical proportion type mistake. Because, guess what? Oh, come on, there he hits us again. So we've taken 50 damage in total. It's okay. We're heavily armored. For some strange reason, he did not move. Why wouldn't he move? Really weird. Because he's built on speed. The bandit is a Hoover tank. This is his defense. And he's gonna get nailed by a turret next second. This cargo truck, I think it just explodes, but nothing else. Standing by. Okay, before anyone gets any funny ideas. Off. Like ramming us or something. Where have we been hit? Center torso. Ooh, our center torso armament is not as good as it should be. Yeah, 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 we're getting somewhere. I think the turrets will be kill stealers. Most likely. I mean, MRM 10s, three types. Yeah, I mean, just, just look at that. He gets it from all sides at the same time. No way he can win. No way he can survive. Even though this is a pretty tough vehicle, the bandit hoover tank is not the worst. Oh, you just lost a leg. He's got double heat sink. Maybe we get our hands on some double heat sinks. I wouldn't say no to that. I could really use that. Receiving you. So, as I'm assuming that they will kill him first. Yeah, but we cannot hit this guy reliable, so we keep... Fi oh, we cannot hit him reliable. <laughs> Why? Do you have sensor problems, sir? Yeah, you suck. Well, we did steal the key, steal the key anyway. The kill. We steal the kill. Okay, cargo room. 
It's your time to shine. Make it count. Fire! Okay, you cannot survive this. You can't. Beautiful. So we have taken 50 damage and won the mission. Oh, he's still alive. Tough cookie. Maybe he's getting reinforcements, but unlikely though. Unlikely, very unlikely. Got it. Okay, tough cookie. How's it going? Didn't see you surviving that though. Engaging. And he's gone. Just lung, oh boy. 50 damage and we won. Payment is 1.6 million, no extra payment, but we didn't do anything extra, so that's okay. Um... Suspicious cargo. Engine are crap. Cooling is crap. Okay, they've got a tactic system. Plus one tactics. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Um, I think this cancels each other out with the big active probe. Cockpit small is not good. It saves weight, but it's not good. Uh, suspicious cargo. Will also preach the unit. Suicide weapon. Ugh. No, 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 no. Okay, this is not really helping. I say we go for the tactics because we've got the thermal vision MK2. Hmm, not happy with that. Let's take this. Yeah, well. This did go pretty me neat. So we're at 3 million again, which is excellent. We can sell some of the stuff. The case can be sold. The engine can be sold. Swarm ammo can be sold. Interestingly enough, even though we did fight a lot and killed a lot of machines, we don't have enough. I mean, we need eight parts, so that's no wonder, but yeah. Okay, let's stop it here and see each other next time. Bye.